We're going to Reach Falls. We're in Portland, Jamaica. And uh, look at this. Look at that tree with all those vines. Four years ago, me and Latoya came here. Oh, I'm sure she'll remember when she sees this footage. Look at this. Changing your mind from jumping? No, I just didn't think you're jumping from there. Unless she's going to jump. going to um, go into the Reach Falls, right? We're going into the falls. And we have to go into something like a little cave and climb Through there. up. Through there, there's a cave. If you see, you can go under there. Under those falls? Okay, let's go. So here we are. Woohoo! Kind of scary already. We have to go underneath this cave. Wow! I am so clumsy. I hope I don't drop. Milan would never do this. Look it, I can go down in this hole. Do it. Underneath here. I'm only talking, I don't, I, I, I don't think I'll be doing that. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep climbing. Miles, are you crazy? Miles, you're gonna fall down the Bloom and Reach Falls. <laughs> And I can't reach you. <laughs> I won't be able to reach you, Miles, so don't play the fool in here. Miles, she came up this, a, a normal staircase, and we had to use this dangerous way to come up. What, bro? No, had I have known they had stairs, I would have taken the stairs too. No, you're adventurous. That's why we need the tour guide. You don't need the tour guide. This is natural water. This is a natural place. We can find out ourselves. Tour guide and his name is Curtis. And Curtis is gonna take us where? But but Curtis is deep. I would like to go on the area that's not deep, please. Is the water gonna go over his head? Yes, it goes over your head. 18 feet. Cave can go through and Caves that you can go through? Oh my gosh. How long is this? Is this this is a falls, right? Okay, is it's half a mile long. Half a mile? Long up that side and three miles long that side. This is something so you can actually tour the whole thing for four miles? Yeah, but you have to do it like um, like um, take like six hours. Six hours? Well no, we don't have, we weren't prepared for that today. Nah, nah there's a flight back home. You already know we in the cut. <laughs> it's actually very nice. I should have swam. Huh? And you were the Swimming one saying, the I don't want to do this today. I know. <laughs> Swimming was the best decision I ever made. Oh! This has got to be the biggest oh, leaf that I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Coco leaf. Coco leaf. It's beautiful. Be careful, Miles. Be careful. That's pretty high. Oh, Lord, Father, what's he going to do? He did it. G Jam Resort in Portland. So here's one of the private villas on the G Jam property. It's beautiful here, man. This is this is how you live in Jamaica. So who was here? Aubrey. Drake. Aubrey. With Safagi. Amy Winehouse. Yeah. Okay. Auntie Jillian. Jason, Jason's taking us to um Yeah, please watch your step. The studios. Okay, so we have arrived. G Jam Studios. Who has come up here before? 
uh, Drake twice, Snoop twice, CeeLo, Florence and the Machine, Sean Kingston, Katy Perry, um, No Doubt, um, Alicia Keys, John Legend, Miguel. Yeah. Wow, they just love it here from just it's a really nice studio. And then over there is where the piano is. So Alicia Keys would come here and play her piano or play the piano. Fire was released from our studio. Hmm? This girl is on fire? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow, released from this studio? Mm -hmm. I love that song. That's one of my favorite songs from her. Nice. Beautiful. So you see, there's a touch of Portland. Jamaica. Jamaica in that song. In that song. Yeah. So Rihanna was here. Yeah, Rihanna was here to shoot the man down video, which was shot in Port Antonio. Oh, nice. She didn't like it. Wow. This is really good. This is good. Miles, yeah. Milan, Drake, put on these headsets here, quick, quick. <laughs> so Portland is a laid-back city, laid-back parish. So mm -hmm. when you come here, they don't get hustled and hustled by fans and fans and everybody and staff. So they just come to work. And, and give them the space. That's pretty much what it is. That's nice. And we do have one of the best students in the Caribbean. We're at G Jam's private beach. This is a real thing. We have a whole beach to ourselves with beds. They got a mirror there. These guys are very accommodating, I must say. I mean, for them to actually have all of this ready for us. And there's nobody else on the beach, so we can actually have this spot for ourselves. That was very that was, nice. Yeah, it is very nice. And here's the beach. Look at that up here. It's crazy yeah. clear. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's another one up there, another private one. Look at these two. <laughs> look at look the princess. <laughs> you can see how much it is a night to stay here. Come here even for a honeymoon maybe. An anniversary, somewhere really special or some special occasion. And take in the view, take in the food, take it all in and just splurge for something really, really special. I am at Frenchman's Cove with Auntie Ramel. Hi guys. <laughs> so we're gonna check out this um, beach because listen, Sports Illustrated comes up here, you know, and films their cover. Don't ramp with jam rock, you know. Don't we are the greatest. We'll be a granny. <laughs> Set up granny good. <laughs> 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 yeah, you one 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 Auntie Ramel told the man to set up a granny good because she could be his granny. She wants a stiff, stiff drink. Oh Lord, well this is the kind of day that we're in for. Do you have any pina colada? Why you don't learn to drink a proper drink? You're not coming here? Oh, pina colada please. Right, look. So we came to the beach, a beautiful beach, and here's one, Miles. What are you doing? I'm on my phone, you know. All right, two, Milan. What are you doing? Chilling. And three, Joseph. Sleeping. <laughs> Apparently, Joseph, they changed the ropes into swing. Yeah, man, yeah. Which is quite fine for me. God, it's a ton of people over here. So I, all the way to Frenchman's Cove, yes. and I got a lovely. Oh What's your name? Jelaine. Last time we came, I tried to find you, but couldn't find you. But this time, you found us. You found us. Milan. Milan is sitting down on the chair with Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> This is the only part that I think I will be. Oh, there's a nice cove over there too. Why do you walk like a duck? Because I you walk, was a I did ballet for years, and you, you tend to walk like that because for your life you stand up so. The discussion over there is about how the rum, they just need to bring the whole bottle. You can never get it. Auntie Ramel is on the prowl. No, on the prowl 
for rum. She's trying to find Greg. Poor Greg. Auntie Ramel, if we were thinking, if we were thinking, we could have bring our own bottle in here, you know. Why we weren't thinking? Knowing that, knowing that I'm with a bunch of rummies. Yeah, but they didn't stop it one time and then one time a group of us were down here. Uh -huh. And then, no, we were like the only people on the beach was a long weekend. And of course, them come over to me of all people. As everybody said, they had to go to the face test one as a heroic body. Everybody on this beach is connected to the same group. We are the only people on the beach, right? And then they bring in some half dead liquor. I said, guess what? No problem. We're going to pack out and we're going to leave. Uh -huh. And tell them at the gate to have 50 people ticket refunded. Him go away and him come back. He said, Mom, I can do whatever I want. I don't understand why this man keeps giving you Pepsi and not the rum. Listen, no, he's gonna fix it. Thank you so much. Everybody has more drinks while we're here. Fill it up with Pepsi before they go run us off the beach. They're not gonna run us off the beach. Shut them out. This shallow. But look how the river goes all the way down there. It's amazing here. <laughs> right, do it one more time, Joseph. I'm gonna try. I haven't done it in a while. I'll try and do it after. I know I'm gonna bomb my tall self into the sand. That's alright, it's if shallow. If you zoom into the sand, you'll see what my hair is like when it's short. <laughs> Wait! Wait. Good job, Joseph! <laughs> I would like to take a picture of you and Joseph, but what did Auntie Ramel say? Listen, beautiful people do not take good pictures. Speak for yourself. That's why I never come out looking good, guys. If you ever meet Auntie Ramel in person, you'll say, my God, you really don't look like an old John girl. <laughs> Joseph, you're wet. She's found a crowd. <laughs> and here she is. She's going to know what to say, just a skin green. Lord, smile on you. Uh -huh. Teach him, teach him, mommy. Teach, teach him, give, school him, school him. It's really old. It's one, two, three, four, five, six women. Six women to one, mom. Wow. 21, no one in that. 21? <laughs> <laughs> it's gorgeous in here. It's like a little cave. Oh my god. And the water is coming through it. Frenchman's Cove. So many beautiful little places that you can actually take some winning award photos man i am telling you let them go on the swing on the swing yes, yes and then you swing and then jump off into the river well i don't know about any jumping yeah. off but um well you can I slide, slide off <laughs> slide off is about it right are you guys gonna try and do this for real? Okay, I got an idea. Look. I have to get this on Snapchat. I got you, I got you. Go, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Auntie Jillian, it's a real thing. Yes. Yeah.